thanks for joining. In today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about how to be a working mom that travels that is still nursing. It can be really challenging, and I just wanted to share a few tips and tricks to help make your breastfeeding journey a little bit easier if that's what you choose to do. In my job, I am in sales, so I travel quite a bit for work, probably a couple times a month, and it can be a little bit challenging trying to figure out the whole breastfeeding slash pumping at work, uh, and especially hard pumping in airports and um, when you're away from home and you're away from your routine. So I'll talk a little bit about what I pack, um, what I use to bring home my breast milk, and just some general tips and tricks. Okay, so I've laid out here all the things that I pack with me when I am traveling for um, work and I still need to pump. So here, I'll show you. I've got my Travel Spectre breast pump. This is the best travel size breast pump. You can see it's, it's not too much bigger than my hand and it's super easy. It comes with the pumping tubes and then I did have to get adapters for my Medela because my first child I had a Medela pump in style and uh, the, the rest of the equipment works but you have to get this little orange connector piece. I also have here just kind of your normal flange connector and uh, valve here. I have two pairs because I pump both at the same time and I have a little reusable bag. I find that these are better than using Ziploc bags because you can watch them, they're more environmentally friendly and I just think that the patterns for this brand are super, super cute. The other things I bring are, are um, breast milk bags and then a little Sharpie that I use to write the date and the volume. I've got my bottles, um, I normally would have no larger bottles, but these are the smaller ones because I've been feeding Finn for over two years and I don't have a lot of supply anymore. Uh, he doesn't really need the milk anymore, I just kind of keep it up. I've got my pump bra in Essential, then the adapter for my, for my actual pump, and then I have a little cute bag that I carry everything in. So those are kind of the pump essentials that you need. Just to go over it again, you have your actual pump, your tubing, your connectors. Uh, I've got the flanges and the connector piece for the bottles, bottles, a bag to carry everything in, bags to store your milk in, a Sharpie, which is really useful. And then I've got my hands-free bra and a little baggie to carry everything in. All right, now I'm gonna show you how I carry the milk back. I've tried lots of different freezer bags and I've tried lots of different ice packs and I didn't really find anything that was working. When I first went back to work after having Finn in my maternity leave, I did try to do more day trips so that I didn't have to be overnight away from my children. Um, and I found it really hard to find something to stay frozen for 12 hours. But a friend had told me about Milk Stork, and so I wanna show you about the packaging and a little bit about how this works. So Milk Stork, you can have shipped directly to your hotel, which is really easy, and it comes in this package. You can see right here. Inside the package, you basically have a freezer box and a little tote bag, which um, I use sometimes to carry back, but most of the time I just shove it into my luggage. So here's what we have in the box. There's this tote bag, which is um, just easy for you to carry your box back. And then this actual freezer pack comes outside of the box. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what's inside the box. So if you open up the box, you have some instructions and tips, which are, I don't know, I guess you can read them. I don't know. You've got some extra bags just in case you forget your own bags. And then here's the actual freezer pack. So there's this um, Nano Cool, I don't know, it says Nano Cool on it. I guess that's what it is. But you basically open it up and this is the actual freezer pack. And then this is kind of the, cool, the uh, container that it comes in. This freezer pack feels like gel. You can kind of see it get squishy. And basically the way that you activate it, I'm gonna activate it because I'm actually on my way out of the hotel so I need to store my breast milk in it for today. You push this button and then you just kind of shake it. The whole unit starts to get a little bit warm on the top, but then the bottom gets cool. And the way that you put your breast milk actually in is you have to store it in these bags. And what I find is easiest is you stack them up, you fold over the top, and then you just kind of fan it through the inside here. And you stick this right back over the top and close up the box. 
It's pretty simple and easy to use and I've just found it very convenient. Um, my company has a benefit for this, which is an extremely good benefit because these can be pretty expensive. I think, I don't know what the pricing is, but maybe a hundred or so a box, um, which can be expensive, but if you're really committed to breastfeeding your child, it's really whatever works for you. But see how easy that is? These are empty bags, but you get the point. You put your milk in here and then you fan them out and you lay them flat. There's a couple of different sizes that you can choose um, and they are just, oh, it's starting to get cold already. It's kind of nice. I basically just put my box right into my suitcase and it kind of fits. I mean, it takes up a lot of the suitcase, but that's where it fits. I hope this video helped with a few tips for you if you're a working, traveling mom like I am that's still nursing your child. This is just one really easy, simple way that I stay connected to my son Finn, even though I know he doesn't really need it, um, but it's just something that I choose to do. And I just noticed this and I thought I would share a fun little treat with you because whatever picture is on this wall right here reminds me a lot of a picture that we have of Ernie. So if he doesn't kill me, I'll try to share it with you. Thanks for joining today. Leave some comments below or subscribe if you want more tips and tricks about being a working mom. Thanks guys.